Now, taking inspiration from her own personal struggles, our next speaker believes that people can learn to heal through one another. By using her passion for music, dance, and storytelling, she aspires to build community and reconciliation. Please welcome to the stage, Chantal Chagno. Hello, my name is Chantal Chagnon. I am Cree, Ojibwe, and Métis from Muskeg Lake Cree Nation in Saskatchewan on my mom's side. And I am French on my dad's side, descendant of the first French settler. Shout out for French. <laughs> the first French settler ever to turn soil in Canada was my ancestor, Louis Hébert. So I have a huge history in Canada, probably about as Canadian as you come. But it hasn't always been easy. Even though I am from Canada, born and raised completely, it has always been a struggle. Growing up, uh, it was difficult because I lost my dad at a really young age to suicide, uh, and my mom was incredibly abusive, but she didn't know why. And as I traced our family's history, it was because my grandmother was very abusive to her, because she was raised in the residential school system. The residential school system ripped her away from her family and did not teach her how to become a parent, did not teach her unconditional love, and did not teach her a lot about our culture. So it was really difficult to start that journey of uncovering, because I always knew something was missing. Every time I would try and figure out where our history came from, why we were different, why we were treated different, I could never really get any answers. And so I started my own digging. I uncovered the truth about the residential school system. I connected with some of my aunts on reserve. And I started to uncover this rich and deep history, this part of me that had been missing for so long. I discovered culture, a rich culture that was far beyond anything I'd ever even conceived of. It was about spirit and connecting to who I was and being proud of who I was. It was about music. It was about making drums. When I discovered making drums, it was such an incredible inspiration for me, because it just came out of me. All of the teachings of the medicine wheel came through me, my music came through me, and I was able to use it to rise above all of the hurt in my life. I had been in abusive relationships. It gave me the strength to leave those abusive relationships, and I was able to break that cycle of abuse with my own children. I wanted them to be proud of who I was, but to be proud of the blood that ran through their veins, to be strong and stand up what's right for what's right, and to give voice to the voiceless, to honor all of our teachings and honor the history of Canada for the truth that it was and the healing that we need. Together, we can bring healings to Canada. We need honesty, truth, and reconciliation, but above all, we need music and art and history. Lou Riel had quoted, my people will sleep for a hundred years, but it is the artists that will bring their spirit back. And that is what guides me. Hi, hi. <laughs> Hey, 